Hello, welcome to the Azure via C Sharp video series. I'm Adela Angela, and today I'd like to show you how you can delete blobs in Azure using C Sharp. I have a console application that references a package called Windows Azure.Storage that is required in order to access the blobs. Uh, the initial code I have here creates a cloud storage account, taking the account name and the storage key. I create a cloud blob client, and then I create a container called blobs container that will include two blobs, blob one and blob two, that I uh, upload a bunch of text to them. We can quickly verify, after I run this code, that the two blobs and the container has been created. So you can see the container is there, I click on that and you can see the two blobs. What we want to do, we want to just delete all of these blobs. In order to do that, you can simply get a reference to a blob, like that, and then call the delete method, or the delete if exist. So the delete method will fail if the blob doesn't exist, while delete if exists never fails. Um, I can do the same for the blob too, and that's pretty much it. So if I run the code now, and I go back to Azure and refresh, no blobs are found. You can see the container is still there. You can also delete the container if you want, fairly easily, using container dot delete if exist. Run the code, go back to Azure, refresh, no blobs, refresh the containers, no containers. So we pretty much delete the entire container. And this is pretty much it, and how you can delete blobs and containers in Azure using C Sharp. Uh, if you like these videos and you want to stay up to date with Azure and C Sharp, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and see you soon.